the mighty Greeks faced the Trojans in a war that would decide the fate of an empire. The year was MCC LCC VXIV BC, around April, maybe early May, and there was no Greek warrior more feared than the legendary Achilles, who, when dipped in the river Styx by his mother, was made invincible by the water, except for the part of his body by which she held him. Achilles was deeply ashamed of his cramps. After all, what if Troy found out? Worse yet, Brian or Terry. His cramps started with his emotional teenage years, which led him to write his first successful book. Are you there, Zeus? It's me, Achilles. A wonderful book on growing up with the cramps. Oh, that whole heel business was nothing more than a cover-up, uh, carried on by a polite Greek society trying to save Achilles uh, from embarrassment. How can you slay enemy hordes while you're curled up with a heating pad, drinking chamomile tea through a straw? In the end, Achilles' cramps would decide his fate. At the very peak of his cycle, as he lay immobilized with menstrual cramps, the Mexican army stealthily wheeled an enormous wooden horse filled with candy and small toys through the Trojan gates. Had Achilles not suffered from male cramps, the world would look quite different today, perhaps more like Detroit.